Hello, welcome to... Let's play of Lost Planet 3. Last time we saved the base, this time we're going to probably go talk to Braddock in a bit of stupidity, spill the beans, what's really going on, and thus about this outpost of survivors, and end up getting them raided and potentially killed by Nevik. Or some other... Because Jim's been... Gap shut. I would not be able to come up with a fairly basic lie that I came up with last time. This far, the story has not been great, but it hasn't been utterly moronic. However, it would be, be very easy at this point was completely moronic. Hey, boss. Nice to see everything's still running as smooth as ever. I knew you are still alive. <laughs> so where the hell you been? So, you fought a G-class acrid, fell down the side of a mountain, landed on the other side of Shat's Peak, and somehow survived for two weeks before you got back into Comrade? Thankfully, the rig was flush with rations and ammo. Lucky timing, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if you've got a good luck charm or you are one. And luck feels just like getting my ass kicked. <laughs> Jim, you know, I uh, take you at your word, of course, but uh, I'm sensing there's a little more to your story. Well, now that you mention it, there is this. What is that? Where did you find that? I'm sensing that you already know the answer to that. Don't toy with me, Peyton. What did you find? Why don't you tell me what I found? We're the first humans to set foot on this planet, so obviously I didn't find some 50-year-old Nevek base, did I? Did you keep your voice down? Is that really all you have to say? No. It's important you understand something, Jim. Keeping the first colony under wraps wasn't my idea. It's one of the terms I had to agree to for Nevek to greenlight this mission in the first place. Perception is vital to their interests. I'll go to great lengths to conceal such a debacle. Coronas was set to land far, far from the original site, but the storm forced us down here. Nearer to the truth than I could have even ever hoped. Hoped? Why would you hope for this? That's why. General Charles Braddock, commander of the first Neo Venus Colonial Expeditionary Dad, your brother... Force. Your old man led the first colony. Led it, and lost it. And he was never the same. Something happened here. Something you would never talk about. All right, so... You're here to what? Fulfill your father's dreams? Redeem his failures? I'm here to solve the energy crisis. And maybe get some answers with your help. Consider this an opportunity. A standing contract for further investigation. Not for Coronas, but for me personally. And I'll pay a premium for your ongoing discretion. So I get to lie to everybody, too? If a word of this reaches Nevek, they'll take back the whole operation. Put it under paramilitary command. I hate lying to the men, Jim, but... It's for their own good. Trust me. Braddock is seeming on the up and up for now, but... Let's see what yeah. I can see. Not telling about the survivors. Not yet. Jim, 
Jim. A supply drop came in while you were away, and if I'm not mistaken, we got all the parts we need for a couple of major upgrades to your rig. One of them's a gas torch. I've got some contracts for you on the new pipeline, so uh, I need you ready to do some welding. The other upgrade? Well, I'll just let Gail show you that one. Okay, let's head down to the pit. Cause actually, we've also picked up a whole bunch of parts, so I can do a, up, do a couple of rig upgrades. Well. Plus, we'll see if there's any uh, upgrades I can purchase for my guns down there. Now I've got the bolt, the pulse rifle for key. Hope. Oh. So I can get some upgrades from the bloody thing. Hey, what's the rumpus, Jim? Alright, so... By the... <laughs> you can never carry enough grenades if you ask me. Grenade variant, but... Eh. Pass for it right now. Thanks, Jim. You keep fighting a good fight. Uh, the grenade slot is worth enough. Man alive, Jim. Hi, I'm Bobby glad you're back. You. It was a long couple of weeks. Of course I told him you'd make it. Never a doubt in my mind. Oh, won't Braddock be happy? His favorite back from the dead. LaRoche is happy to see you too. Hey, major, major upgrade time for you. Parts came in for an acetylene torch. Sexy, right? I can slap that together in no time. But the other upgrade, it's gonna take significant surgery, but you're gonna love it. Consider it a little welcome home gift from Braddock and yours truly. Your chassis is a Dynasty 2 swing arm. Platform compatible. All the access holes line up and everything if we wanna fully convert. You game? I trust you, Gail. And if you hurt her, I'll cut your arms off. Sweet! <laughs> So we're leaving the, the modification of the imagination in the state of the flag. Kind of awesome, right? This is it, Jim. My masterpiece. Your rig can now transform into a drilling platform. The suspension might feel a little tighter, and sorry about that, but you're gonna lose your mind when you see what your rig can do now. The Roche, no begging for one given you enough chances. Fancy but useless, huh? What good is a drilling platform without knowing the location of deep thermal pockets? Shush! You're ruining the high. Jim, you were also officially upgraded with the Mitchell Industries oxyacetylene torch. Dual 150 oxygen regulators with a custom thermodyne cutting tip. It's a small flame for welding and cutting, so don't expect to melt the environment with it. It's pretty pyro-proof. Gotta say, proud of this one. Just check the valve reseals on the cylinder from time to time. And the Frankenstein rig keeps growing. Mm, yeah. LaRoche, can I have a second alone with Gail? Da. I don't want to be here for this anyway. Au revoir. Listen, Gail, can you look at getting a replacement for this purifier? Uh, dude, this is like 50 years old. I don't think a modern day replacement would work with wherever this came from. But I can look at repairing it for you. Nice. Okay. Who else I can get on my rig? Oh, hey. Audio log. Tell the truth, Jim. How did you survive in the wild for two weeks? Oh, uh, no big story to tell. Fell off a cliff, nearly died, got rescued by a beautiful snow princess who magically healed me at her secret hideaway. Pretty much what you'd expect. Nice. Points for creativity. I'll get the real story out of you when I get the purifier repaired. 
Busting out the welding goggles. All right. Wrench. Which boosts very 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 good access access. Do one right now. Put the extended winch. Yep, yep, yep. More reach for your winch. Always a pleasure, my man. Winch extension that should give me enough range. There it is. Probably nobody inspects the weapons logger and says, "Hey, where's this weird crossbow thing you just got? Where to get this weird crossbow thing you discovered?" If you don't say, hey, I got it from the uh, survivors of the lock. Now that your rig's upgraded, test it out on a deep core T energy reservoir in the North Plains. Braddock out. <laughs> so, where I'm actually headed is I'm going to go check out some of those. Posts. Rather, yeah, get his last few survival bits. Hey, I got fast travel now. bit out of there Mr. Marshall's group. There we go.
pause, we'll need that. There we go. This way. Or. Outpost. Why can't? Lots of booze. All the booze. the rig. Oh, it's a little piece of this back to the base. Too much information about the uh, first call out to the flight. Get a little cash out of this and do this a uh, side quest objective. Well, that's always good. And back to the race. Next one, Junction, the old power station there, check that out.
local map. All right, so. So actually what you need to do is Diaz Cavern. I think Diaz Cavern is going to take Pulse rifle is generally better. Still pretty good for ammo. And do this long hike again. Hopefully completing this will reopen Diaz Cavern for fast travel. Open it for fast travel or something. Find the ways they can use the magnetic grappling hook at. And the grenade launcher makes those a lot less.
got to be somewhere around here where I can use my bag later. there. Did we look for us actually back in White Canyon Jump? Okay. So I kind of wasted time. So next time we will try to find that last.